This is a new resolutions. I mean, a New Year's resolution check to see if y'all are still doing y'all New Year's resolutions. Like, whatever it was, as long as it wasn't evil or leading you away from God, that means it was something good or profitable or something you've been wanting to do, something that's beneficial to you. Are you still doing it? Y'all, it's not too late to start one. Um, and I hate the fact that we call them New Year's resolutions because they're really just resolutions, stuff that we just go say, you know what, this year I'm going to resolve to do this or I'm going to resolve to do that. This year I'm actually going to do it. Now, I understand. Don't get discouraged if God tells you no, you doing too much, sit down. Because at least you thought up in your mind you didn't want to be lazy, but the Lord showed you it's better for you to calm down. I understand that. That's understandable. I also understand if you're trying to pursue something that's getting in the way of your calling in the Lord. So let's say, for example, I had a New Year's resolution that was getting in the way of me being a good mother or me being in the way of being a good employee at my job or me getting in the way of being a not so much of a good wife no more. And then I'm slacking on my responsibilities as a, you know, as an auntie or a sister-in-law or, or just a, a daughter or, or a cousin or whatever. Um, but if it's, if your New Year's resolution ain't doing none of that and the Lord ain't told you to sit down, are you still doing a resolution? If not, if you stopped, if you've been slipping, you can always start back. God will show you. He'll get you right. He'll get you together. He'll get you right. He'll show you. He'll lead you. Don't stop just because the time done went by and it's called a New Year's resolution and it's March now. It's March 1st. You can start it today. Start it over whenever you want to. Don't feel bound to. It got to be January 1st, 2017. It got to be January 1st, 2016. January 1st, 2018. Like I told y'all, for the people of God... Since we serve an eternal God, an awesome God that can do anything, anytime he wants to, and he loves his children, he, he wants to bless us, you know, he wants us to do right and not be lazy. Um, so if the thing ain't taking you away from God or leading you in a path to where you slacking on everything else, pursue it. I mean, what what's the worst that can happen if the Lord ain't told you to stop, if he ain't told you to, you know, that it's hindering your life in him? Don't stop. Keep going. What is it? Do it. If if y'all had a New Year's resolution and y'all, you know, been going forth in it, what have you accomplished? Let me know. I want to know. I'm interested. Um, you can comment it, whatever. Do a video on it um, and, and send a link to my email if you don't want nobody else to see it. I want to know, like, what y'all accomplished. Like, what did y'all accomplish? Um, I'll, I'll speak for myself. I've, I've re my resolution this year was to eat better. And I can tell y'all that I did not eat better. I still eat chips and all that stuff. But I found some things that, um, like it's this stuff called overnight oatmeal. It's really good. I really like it. So I'm glad I found that. It keeps me from eating chips and stuff in the morning. Um, so now, now that I got breakfast down pat, a healthy good breakfast down pat, now I'm working on my lunch I'm trying to go make a little salad. I can bring to work and just eat that in the car just with a bottle of water or something or my, my water container or something like that. Um, so I'm pursuing this eating right, eating better, and also not being lazy as far as like getting stuff done when it needs to be done instead of waiting and keep pushing it and pushing it. Um, so those are my two. And to get rid of coffee. I haven't drank coffee. Praise God. I have not. I've had self-control. And let me tell you all this. It, right after I made that resolution, I was driving to the mall to go pick up something from the store in the mall. I don't know what we was doing at the mall. But um, I was driving to the mall, and it's a Starbucks right before you hit the mall. And, y'all, my flesh, like, <laughs> not my flesh like evil, but my flesh, like, my carnality, like, forgot that I was even doing a no coffee thing. And my body went to turn the car to turn into Starbucks. And then when I realized what I was about to do, I was like, oh, wait, hold on, I'm not supposed to be drinking coffee. So <laughs> that was a close call right there. But, yeah, y'all, continuing the New Year's resolutions. Um, yeah, this is just a check, just a check up on y'all, see if y'all still doing them, see if y'all still pursuing them, still not still, if seeing if y'all still, like, excited, as, as excited as I am for y'all, um, no matter what it is. Um, so I'm still on my journey to eating better. It's not going to stop because I don't want to, you know, just completely waste my health. Or completely just destroy, you know, my health. So I'm gonna start. I'm, I'm working on the next thing, y'all. Everything is a process. It takes time, um, but keep working on it. Keep fighting. It, keep doing it because it's gonna be profitable in the future. So uh, I love y'all. Just wanted to encourage y'all and y'all New Year's resolutions. And I'm gonna do it every month. I know I skipped February. I'm sorry about that. I forgot all about February, and I kept saying I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, and I pushed it off. And that's another thing. Uh, that's why another reason why my resolution was to do stuff when I 
when I have the time and do it and, and don't have all that idle time. But yeah, just wanted to encourage y'all, let y'all know it's still a journey for me too. Um, but we're gonna get this stuff done. We're gonna get through it. We got we got the power of God behind it. We got the Lord behind us. He loves his children. He gonna tell us that we need to stop. But if he ain't told you to stop, continue. And if you know it ain't nothing evil or harming you or making you idle or taking you away from your family or leading you into ungodliness, keep pursuing it. Love y'all. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.